Hi, welcome back to Finally Revealed. In this episode, I want to cover something that was mentioned in one of the comments, and it was in connection with a video that I have on how to cancel a contract, and I apologize if that title was confusing. In it, we talk about uh, rescinding or buying your way out of it, but the comment was the person was looking for the actual instructions on how to cancel a contract. There are other types of consumer contracts mostly where there's an automatic cancellation and that's what rescission means in this context is that you can change your mind. So you need to make sure, in a, that first of all, read your contract, I always say that, but be sure that you understand the time limit that you have if there is a built-in get out for free clause in your contract or right to cancel or right to rescind. If there is, then this is what you would do. They should give you a document in connection with your home loan. They will give you a document that you would use to sign and rescind. And in that case, you would write to them, you would give it to the particular office that it, they tell you to, you would send it in the manner that you're supposed to. If they don't specify a particular manner to deliver it, make sure you send it in a way that you can prove it was delivered and that it's within the time frame allotted. Normally, if I sign papers today, say it's Monday, and I have four days to cancel it, you wouldn't count Monday. The first day of the four days would be Tuesday. So make sure you understand the total time frame that you have. Number two, understand when that time frame starts to run. Number three, make sure you know where you're sending this. Number four, if you can hand deliver it to them, make sure you get someone to write for you uh, that this was received on this day and the agreement is canceled, or if you're sending it uh, in an area where you, you're sending it away from where you live, send it by Federal Express or certified mail or some other means, I would recommend overnight, um, that they have verified delivery so that you can prove that it was sent. And number four, then communicate and follow up to get further uh, confirmation in writing that the contract has been canceled. Now, in a situation where you have received money or received goods, the extra part that you would need to do is return what you received and get back your money. If you received goods and you're returning them, then you should be getting back your money. If it was a situation where you received money, then you would be for example, in connection with a loan, then you would be returning that money. So what you want to affect is that written notice, you've delivered it, that you are taking advantage of and accepting your right to cancel, you're exercising your right to cancel, and it's on this day, and here's what I got, now give me my part back, and then get verification in writing. I hope this was helpful. I'm sorry for any past confusion. I am going to go through the comments and see if there were any other questions that have been missed. And I will do that at least on a monthly basis uh, to catch any that, that need to have further explanation. So keep your comments coming. Give me a thumbs up if this was helpful. Subscribe to see the other videos and come back and see me next time. Thanks for watching.